cool crest. Universal Studios Florida is pleased to present the Horror Makeup Show. And now, how about a nice round of applause for the host of today's show? So welcome indoors. How you doing? Yeah. We got a great show for you today. My very, very good friend, Miss Marty James, is here from Hollywood. She's a creature creator and a makeup effects artist. She works out west at the studios, and she's in town. She agreed to stop by today. So, are y'all ready for some blood and guts? Yeah. Put your hands together. Welcome, Marty James. Let's hear it. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I want to warn you though. It's the holiday season. So, <laughs> you don't get that at the Morton Stunt Tank, are there? Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so I want to warn you, which is not see, not for the faint of heart. If you're easily nauseated or squeamish, just close your eyes. And let your kids watch. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Someone's a little shy, someone doesn't want to come on stage, maybe. 
Someone's not making eye contact with me right now. There's a lot of you. Okay, I'm not taking it personally, but I'm gonna go ahead up a couple of rows because front row always gets chosen and that's just not fair. I'm gonna go back a couple, oh, I'm sorry. Are you that disappointed? Life sucks. I'm gonna go up a couple of rows and uh, go deep and I'm gonna go ahead. I'm fishing here. I'm gonna go ahead and get that lady right there. Let's hear it for her, yeah! Hi, how you doing? Come on up. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Does her family have a camera? Yeah, get your, get your camera ready, please. Yeah, absolutely. You need to get some good before photos. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, how you doing today? Thank you. Good, we're gonna I change that. I love it, it's Hi. cute. I'm Alex. What's your name? Debbie. Debbie, Debbie, Marty. Hi. Hi, Debbie! <laughs> nice to meet you, Debbie. This one's real. Nice to meet you. Yeah, no, let's see. Um, where are you from? From Canada. Debbie, Debbie from Canada. 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 I'm part of Canada. Where are you from, Debbie? My wife is from Canada as well. What? Calgary. Okay, Calgary, my wife is from Ontario. Yeah. Can we take a picture real quick? Who's that with the camera? Who's that? Oh, okay. Bonjour. <laughs> so, just you and your son on a little vacation? So what's the story with you? Are you, are you single? Are you married? What's, you're married? Good for you. I'm, I, okay. All right, well, we'll see. Um, put your hands together just like that. I'm going to give you all the parts you need to build yourself a vacation husband, okay? Yeah, it's tradition in America. It's, you know, we leave our husbands at home, we get a backup. Um, this happens to be a Florida man. He comes with a gator and a vape. Ah. <laughs> go, two, three. This guy has five hands. That's a lot of fun on a Friday night in Orlando, all right, Mama? We'll give him one leg so we can't get away, but he does have a fungus in him. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it smells like Cool Ranch Doritos a little bit. Yeah, that. All right, come on, Debbie. All right, Debbie. Let's put everything on the table so we can build him, okay? Yeah, just place it on the table. I'll let him see what I can do. Why would you do that to Debbie? She's, yes. from, she's from Canada, I, she'll cut you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That'll never happen again. All right, you're going to be my assistant, okay? Hey, Alex, yeah, yeah. come over here and roll up your left sleeve. Cool. Your left sleeve. Yeah. All right, so you guys probably wonder where we get all the severed arms and legs that you see in the movies. I'm going to show you. Yeah. <laughs> Give it to me. No, uh, no, no. <laughs> what am I doing? Debbie! Debbie. <laughs> I'm not going to use this, Debbie. It's too big! I'm going to use a small knife for you. Right, come stand right here. Um, hold your sleeve. Yeah. Hold it up. Do you want to take the jacket off, Debbie? You can. You it's can easier if you take the jacket off. Yeah, it'll, it's good if it's a tight like this because it makes a good turn. Turn it, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's some, that's some good yeah, stuff right there. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to take this knife and cut your arm off, okay? Sweet! They got, that's, they that's got great consent. help. Yeah, yeah. 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 They got great help there, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 she's like, whatever. They're all <laughs> free drugs. Um, when I cut your arm off, I want you to scream. I want you to make everybody believe that it hurts. Okay, so on the count of three, let's practice your scream. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> It's like you sat on a cold toilet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, at every yeah, other day. Canada, that's yeah. a nightly occurrence for you guys, isn't it? Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh, sorry. What? There's kids here. You want me to cut a kid? No. <laughs> because I will. I don't want to talk to them. Okay. I just relax one second, Daddy. Let me talk to the kids. <laughs> don't drink beer for breakfast. <laughs> Whenever you're going to make a beverage in the morning, go with a mimosa. It's half juice. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Mom. The popular opinion right now. Uh, safety talk. All right. None of the knives are real. So we're kids. Don't be stressed. If you're nervous, don't be. Um, we use knives that are dull. Sometimes we use knives made out of rubber or plastic, like a Kardashian. Oh. Okay? <laughs> All this stuff is put together by trained professionals with a lot of experience. So don't try this stuff at home. Try it at a friend's house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's get a close with Debbie's on, please. And we're streaming along with Make Debbie. Sure you ready, one, two, three. <laughs> Six foot girl. 
Picture. <laughs> that means that hurt. Oh my goodness. So much done. Drop! Tell me everybody! Slides into the hand. I know. There's your blood bulb in the back. All right, so you kind of hide this part, and you're cutting away. It goes over the arm, and you pull it back. So it looks like you're cutting into the skin. This was designed by Tom Savini for the original Dawn of the Dead. The blade is not sharp, and Debbie's okay! Story back here. I was. I'm so sorry. Was that distracting? I'm so sorry. No. <laughs> Debbie and I. This were... is just what I heard. I heard like. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie and I. Like, mm -hmm. We were bonding. I know. <laughs> uh, Universal Studios, folks, is just about to, is is right now. As of this past August, we're celebrating the 100th anniversary of the horror movie. Yeah, wow. we're really proud of that. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to tell you how it started. It went back to the 1920s with this guy, makeup pioneer Lon Chaney. Lon Chaney, known as the man of a thousand faces, he did all of his own makeup for the movies he was in, including Phantom of the Opera and Hunchback of Notre Dame. He was a brilliant actor who truly suffered for his art, even injecting bleach in his eye. Wow. I made that up. But <laughs> he did wear a, a hump and a harness on his body, so see how he's kind of been over like that? He did that for the entire time he filmed the film. And he was a, a very secretive makeup artist. He never told anybody how he did a lot of these things. He didn't even tell his own son, Dick. Dick Cheney? Dick Cheney. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, ten people, for getting that joke. <laughs> he paved the way for one of my favorite guys, Jack Pierce. Jack worked for Universal in the 30s, created the classic Universal monsters. Like the Wolfman, the Mummy, Ride of Frankenstein, Lady Gaga, Pete Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> he worked day and night to perfect his creations, even going to morgues to study on real dead bodies. There's Kanye West looking for his career. <laughs> Boris Karloff, original Frankenstein monster, very basic materials here. Rubber, plaster, mortician's wax, two pieces of pepperoni. <laughs> Took about four hours to apply. <laughs> Boris Karloff has the mummy, layers of mud and bandages wrapped around his entire body. It took eight hours for only 10 minutes of screen time. Now oh these were the classic Universal Monsters, but gosh, we did have some crack. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite, the big brain creature from this island Earth. <laughs> Come with me, Earth woman. I'd like to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> <laughs> and in 1968, everything changed when John Chambers introduced using something new, foam latex in Planet of the Apes. Um, because prior to the No, my car got stolen and they left the alarm in the driveway with a note and it said, these don't work, ha ha ha. <laughs> like, I put the alarm on my curtain so I would keep you out of here. I, out of here? Out of the, I didn't want you to see it. I didn't see it. You set the alarm off. No problem. Yes, you did. <laughs> then why did the alarm go off? There was an incident. What was the incident? Somebody threw something at you. For real? For real. I couldn't do it. I'm a little more. But your arms are weirdly long. I know. I'm a friend. It's cool. I still. So somebody threw something at you? Somebody threw something at your curtain. You saw who it was? Yes. Who was it? That kid up there. The kid that asked me about the car? Yeah. He was trying to put one over on you. He threw something? That kid threw something at you. What did he throw? Cigarette. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he eat it? <laughs> Did you eat a cigarette over here? No. No? What? What? You were here the whole time. He was yeah. here the whole time. And you were eating cigarettes.
So that kid said no. Yeah. Said that it was you. This kid is corroborating this kid's story. Those kids are true. I agree. <laughs> and then another kid goes, I agree. They're, it's the children of the corn. <laughs> What's your name over here? What's your name? Garrett? All right, let's go. Cool. Where are you from? Uh... <laughs> okay, confer, confer with your fellow legal counsel. From Chicago. Chicago! Hi, Garrett. I appreciate the help. You know, I'm not exactly sure what happened. So, I, I mean, I've known him a long time, and I kind of got to go with what he says. But I will be watching you. Just in case, I'm watching you. All right? Like a hawk. <laughs> All right? This is in Disney, so I don't have to be nice to kids. Okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I found a pill in the parking lot, and I took it. <laughs> Darren or Darren? Garen, I found it. Darren. Yeah, Darren? Yeah. yeah. Darren? Yeah. Cool. Just go back to what you're talking about. I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, um. Planet of the Apes and Playtex. Playtex. You said Playtex. That's different. Yeah, it makes a different monster. Let's take a look at some of the great work in the Mummy Maker. Right? A few years ago, Universal came out with a remake of The Mummy. This was an homage to the classic mummy film of the 1930s, this time starring beautiful actress Sophia Boutella as the mummy and Hollywood's oldest living monster, Tom Cruise. And there's some really great latex that they did in this. Sophia sat in the makeup chair almost every day while they glued layers of latex right to her face. Tiny little pieces of latex in those little runic shapes. They were also applied with tweezers and glue. Very painstaking process. It took about four hours just from the neck up. Then from the neck down, they created large silicone appliances to cover the rest of her body with those symbols, almost like a temporary tattoo. And it looked so good, everybody fell down. <laughs> it took six makeup artists who were forced to work at this speed every single day to get her into the rest of the makeup. Um, wardrobe would take another hour. Very time consuming, but it actually turned out very cool as the finished process. There's um, Lucy Cork, her stunt double, also in the makeup. But as you can see, it all came together beautifully. Um, I love this stuff. I've always loved this stuff. When I was a kid, um, so I was like a kid in the 80s, right? And that was like kind of the golden era for special effects makeup. Um, also, too, we had no parental supervision. So we didn't, like, see any movie. <laughs> like, we just sneak in. Hey, um, HBO was a beautiful thing when I was a kid. It was like, oh. I know, my aunt and uncle had a satellite. And I was yeah. like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want to go up on Friday night and hang out with your friends? Sure. But I, I love stuff like this. Yeah. And I and I love puppets and I love makeup. And um, when the movie Beetlejuice came out, I was, like, obsessed with it. I felt like... I was just really obsessed with it. And I, became, and I found out that the makeup artist was a woman. Her name is V. Neal. And if you don't know her, you should know her. She is an incredible makeup artist. Um, she's actually working on Beetlejuice 2. And she was one of the first women to win an Academy Award for her makeup effects. Yeah, yeah. So she's a pretty big deal. Yeah. yeah. Big deal. yeah. It inspired me. And then she actually got a chance to work with another one of the, my idols. And that's a man named Rick Baker. Rick Baker. So you should know his name too. Yeah. Rick Baker's the GOAT. Rick Baker is the most prolific makeup artist in modern history and with the most. Uh, seven. So. Yeah, so he has seven, and um, that means he has seven more than me. Um, <laughs> but he won for the Wolfman, the Grinch, Nutty Professor, uh, Harry the Men in Black. Men in Black. Yeah. And this was his very first Oscar winning film, which a lot of kids know this movie. What movie is this? <laughs> E.T. <laughs> yeah, there he is. E.T. <laughs> he's back and he's pissed. <laughs> Good guess. This is an American Werewolf in London. This came out in 1981, and in 1982, Rick Baker took home his very first Oscar for this film. This is one of the movies I got to see on HBO later yeah, that absolutely. I should not have seen, but it blew Please. me away. Yeah. That's, your that? brother. That's your brother. <laughs> he needs some fiber. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the transformation. Yeah. 1980, 81, that was filmed. Yeah. It's not computer work. No. That's practical makeup. I mean, computer work has its place, it's yeah. fine, but back then, there wasn't that sort of option, right. right? So makeup artists had to get clever with how they were going to make these monsters happen. So what Rick Baker did was he created a series of mechanical heads. He made seven heads. These are actually from the film. Um, I took the mask off of this one so you could see how it works, but it runs on a pneumatic system. So oh, that's, that's her question. Yeah. yeah. See oh, that? wow, look at that. 
look at that. That's cool. And then what he would do is he would cover it with a latex wolf mask. Oh. So it stretched like real human skin yeah. to give that illusion that the face is really growing and changing. Yeah. Very detailed too. Um, the teeth are actually porcelain, the mm. hairbrush paint. This is actually like all of this hair individually put in, human hair. That's human hair? Human hair. Where do you get the hair from? Kids from Chicago. <laughs> 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 there it is. Uh, so, mechanical effects. I love this kind of stuff. Do yeah. you still use it? We do, yeah. There's been a big resurgence actually in using practical makeup nowadays. I mean, for a while it was all digital, and, yeah, now, we're, right. and now we're using this stuff to combine with it. Mm -hmm. And I have another clip to kind of talk about awesome. that. So we already saw Sophia in all of her practical makeup. We saw her getting into the, the latex makeup, okay? Now we're going to see how they handled the digital side of this. So these are called animatics. This is like a digital storyboard, a movable storyboard, so that Sophia can look at this and figure out how she's going to move when she's in her motion capture suit. And when she's on set in that suit, the digital artist can take her body, her structure, the movement, her face, and port it into the computer so that they can change it in any way they want. Then they will combine it with the live action footage that she shot earlier. And we use these original concept designs so that both practical and digital artists can blend our, our monsters well so continuity is never disrupted. So you take your computer effects, your practical makeup, a great story and good acting, and that is how nightmares come true. Marty James, everybody. Marty, thank you. That was awesome. Yeah. Brooke up in the booth and hi, her eyebrows. Hi, 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 hi. Uh, tell us we got a couple minutes left. Do you want to do your podcast? Yeah, do you want to help yeah, me? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, I just it's really easy. I just need you to put on this high voltage vest. I won't It's a low voltage vest. No, thank you. It's no voltage. It's a it's a fun vest. I don't want to do it. I said, hi, put on this fun vest. I need to do it. Debbie! Debbie. Oh, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie, we're coming back on stage. Universal Studios would like to give you and your family a free three day cruise. <laughs> or I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> to Calgary, Canada. <laughs> All right, so Debbie coming over here. Alex, don't go away. See this glove right here? Can you put it on her right hand? Uh -huh. All right, Debbie. So, what I'm putting on you, Debbie, is called a telemetry suit. It's a very basic puppeteering system. It's just one half of it. I just brought this part because the pants would be too hard to put on. But um, you're basically now attached to a big creature, like a puppet, and you're going to bring it to life. Okay? So stay right here. Let's meet him. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the first time ever. Please put those hands together and make some noise! Yeah, I can talk about it now. It's been hard keeping the secret, but we're doing a live action version of the TV show Bluey. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. So we find out in this episode, Bandit Louie's dad uh, has a brother that's been in prison. That's Eddie. And he breaks out. He finds Louie. He's like, you got a high leg, Louie. Um, uh, he's voiced by Hugh Jackman. Ooh, it's really good again, but uh, don't get too attached to me, go. Bingo. <laughs> Darren, I live under your bed. 
Put your hand on your stomach and take a bow. And stand up. Put your arm by your side. Excellent. Turn off. And turn. And y'all, what do you guys think? Eddie and Doug! And Debbie, before you go, here's a photo of you and an American lady that you need to avoid, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Debbie, everybody! Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs>